Hi guys, I'm back online again doing yoga classes on Google Meet. It's important that I interact with you during your practice to give you the proper alignments on the poses. All levels of experience are welcome. Once you are instructed with more in-depth position, the classes on YouTube will be more enjoyable. You will truly experience the full benefits of each pose. I hope to see you on the mat in the comfort of your own home. Hello, how are you guys doing? Welcome back to another Danny Yoga class. Thank you so much for being here. And thank you for checking out my YouTube channel or just simply coming back to my classes. I'm very happy if you're joining me again into today's class. If you guys have your mats, let's begin our practice. We will start here into a cross leg seated position and resting hands on the knees or thighs, not collapsing in the lower back. We're gonna close the eyes a few breaths. Just two or three to invite ourselves here in this present moment. And maybe you are practicing this at the end of your day. So let go of your day as well. Whatever happened even a minute ago, it's already passed. Tomorrow we don't know. You are here. So be here, right here, right now. The only moment that matters. Let go. If you had a stressful day, let go of those persons who maybe stressed you out knowing that it's gone. You are here for you now. So dedicate this time entirely for yourself. Just another breath here, completely relaxed in the shoulders, muscles around the belly and facial muscles. Bring the hands to the heart in Namaste. And say thank you for being here. And no matter what happened today, no matter how your day went, know that it's okay. And if there was something you didn't like today, maybe there was a situation that we can learn out of it. So don't judge as good or bad. Whatever it was, it's gone. <laughs> Beautiful. Just be thankful for being here for you now. Bring a smile on your face. Take this momentum to change your emotions, your feelings into positive happy, be glad that you're home, maybe with your family, able to enjoy this practice, able to enjoy your time at home. And slowly and gently open your eyes, changing the cross of the legs, bring the hands on your uh, knees and just draw a few circle on yourself, coming onto one direction, and keeping the shoulders relaxed, maybe round into your spine, arch through your spine when you move yourself forward, rounding when you're towards the back, just letting go. One more circle onto this direction and then change. Let's come towards the left, keep the shoulders relaxed, again, arch and round. Anything that works for you, great job. One last circle here, and then we are coming back to center. Your hands are still resting on the knees or thighs, or maybe by the side. Drop the chin to chest for a breath or two here, keeping the shoulders away from the ears. And then you're gonna look up towards the ceiling. Mm. One more time, chin to chest. Let go of the shoulders, don't lift them up all the way to the ears, relax them down, not collapsing in the lower back. And again, look up towards the ceiling, same thing, keep the shoulders away. <sighs> Come back to center, right here to the right shoulder. Two breaths here. Back to center, change left here, left shoulder. 
One more round, back to center, right here, right shoulder. Back to center, left here, left shoulder. Wonderful. Come back to center, rest the hands on the knees or thighs again. Take a deep breath in. Open the mouth and stick your tongue out. Exhale all out. Then close again, tongue in. And inhale. Open the mouth. Stick in the tongue out. Three more times like that. Inhale. Tongue out, exhale. Final two, inhale. And one more time, inhale. Stick the tongue out and let go. Great job, seal your lips again, come back to what's normal breathing for you and your, if your eyes were closed, slowly and gently, open them up. Extend the legs in front of you, pointing the toes forward and back a few times, let go if there's any tension there. And then keep your left leg extended, bend into your right knee, bring the soles of your foot Right foot inside your left inner thigh, not underneath, and facing your left leg, pushing to the left heel, pointing the left toes up, neutral spine, inhale, arms up. On the exhale, forward fold over your left leg. For a Janushirshasana, forward fold, give a nice stretch to that back of the left leg, all the way up to your left shoulder, making sure you're not lifting right shoulder higher than the left. Stay away from the lower back, relaxing the upper body. Two, three breaths here. One more breath. And then we come back to center on the inhale and change. Extend the right leg in front of you. Bend into your left knee, sole of the foot. Inside your right inner thigh, face your right leg. Push through the heel, point the toes up. Don't kill the right leg. Rolling right outer hip to the inner. Arms up, neutral spine. Inhale on the exhale forward. In this case, you feel probably left shoulder higher than the right. Try to inhale away from the lower back to roll that left shoulder way down. Shoulder down before you fold. So we're making sure we are not hurting the right side of the lower back, right side of the rib cages should not be crunching in. You're relaxing the shoulder, maybe using a belt if the foot seems to be too far today. Just stretch nice that back of the right leg. Stay here for three breaths. Two more. Every inhale, keep lengthening away from the lower back, relaxing the shoulders. Last breath there. And then back to center on the inhale. And release, cross again the right leg in front of the left. Inhale, arms up, interlock the fingers above the head. Extend the arms and turn the palms towards the ceiling without bringing shoulders all the way up to the ears. Neutral spine, lengthen on the inhale. And on the exhale, move towards the right side of the mat without lifting left sitting bone off the ground. Just stretching the left side of the rib cage is pressing a wall, ceiling diagonally away from you without collapsing left shoulder forward and keep those arms energized stretch the left side of the body maybe one or two breaths gaze towards the left elbow one more time one more breath here and then we come back to center we inhale again and do the same on the left keep the right sitting bone down gazing towards the right elbow if the neck it's okay with that not lifting the right sitting bone off the ground not collapsing, right shoulder blade forward, right shoulder forward in front of you. Just give a nice stretch to that right side of the body, stretching, lengthening upper body way, way away from the lower back so you're not crunching left side of the rib cages. One final breath there, great job. And if you're gazing to the right, gaze forward and inhale, come back to center, release for a moment. Inhale, arms up again, change the interlock of the fingers. Turn the palms to face the ceiling once again. And this time, we're just going to move from left and right a few times, trying to keep the sitting bones down on the mat. One more round, left and right feels good. Let go. 
and we are coming back to center. Release the hands by the side, roll the shoulders back. <sighs> Forward. <sighs> Great job. Bring the feet and legs to one side, lifting yourself to a tabletop, just taking a very light and passive downward facing dog. Before that, in your tabletop, make sure your knees are keep apart and your arms are shoulder distance apart. You spread the fingers on the mat, tuck the toes in, inhale your knees up, exhale, press back into that downward facing dog and pedal the feet, bend the knees. Bend the knees one at a time. Let go all the stiffness you've been accumulating, maybe sitting at the desk today. Let go of your day. Maybe a few more breaths out of the mouth. Relaxing the shoulders, sharpening sitting bones, long neck, heavy head. Stay, maybe move the hips from side to side. Anything that works for you. Not fighting the mat, long neck, heavy head. Come back to stillness for just two breaths. Try to relax in the shoulders. Just let go. One more breath here. Great job. If you are moving, pedaling, come back to stillness. And at your own time, inhale yourself forward to a plank. And with control, you're going to lower yourself down all the way on the belly. Bring the palms on top of each other, point the toes to the back, separate the feet as wide as the mat and just bring the forehead on your hands, not fighting the mat, just let yourself be heavy, five breaths here. Surrender, let go. Three more breaths. Make sure before you hold any pose today or in any other class, I always remind people to find that sweet spot before you hold the poses. Like in this case, make sure your shoulders are really relaxed. You're not lifting yourself off the ground. Just surrender here. Let go. And when you're ready, head up. Bring the uh, hands in line with your chest and press yourself up gently into a child's pose, bringing knees as wide as the mat. Modify child's pose, big toes touching. Sit on your heels, forehead on the mat. Hands in front of you. Forearms are down. Lower arms are uh, down on the mat so you're not energizing anything you just let go sit heavy on your heels and maybe just move the head from side to side give a little massage to your forehead letting go of your day again letting go all the overthinking all your plans for tomorrow trust me they are going to be there still there when you are done with your class make sure now you're just taking care of you you're going to prepare yourself for a nice nice good night's sleep without overthinking and worries and stress of the day of your job or whatever is stressing you out you're just uh, letting go maybe find stillness in your child's pose if you're moving head from side to side Again, knowing that everything you have to do tomorrow, I'm sure it's going to be there. Great job. When you're ready, press yourself up with the inhale. Bringing the knees together. One more time, walk the knees to the back and lower yourself down on the belly for just a quick sphinx pose. Walking your forearms on the mat, elbows under your shoulders. Spread the fingers on the mat. You're pointing again the toes to the back, tops of the feet on the ground. Inhale, upper body away from the lower back. Shoulders relaxed and away from the ears. Softening facial muscles. Releasing any tension in the lower back. Mm, one more breath there. If you feel any pinching in the lower back, maybe inhale a little bit more away from the lower back with the upper body and bring the tops of the feet toes towards the back of the mat a little bit more. Imagine your body, it's splitting in half. 
lengthening this way, we should protect more the lower back. Great job. Lower yourself down when you're ready and press up again. Hands and knees. Knees are walking in between the hands. Sit and extend the legs in front of you. You're going to lie down on the mat without collapsing and dropping, taking a happy baby pose, uh, bringing the hands at the outer edges of your feet or around the big toes, piece finger around the big toes, or if everything is too far, maybe try to hold your ankles, roll the shoulder blades back and down. Keep the head down, maybe close your eyes, soften the breath. Let go, I always mention of breathing in and out through the nose, but in these easy poses, feel free to open the mouth. We are not moving at a fast pace today. So normally if we breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth and we move fast, all this combined together, it might make you feel dizzy. But today we are really taking it easy. We are stretching out and letting go of our day. So. A cleansing breath inside out of your mouth will really let go of your day. <sighs> Great job. Hug the knees into the chest. Beautiful. Take a quick twist to towards the sides. First bringing hands at the letter T on the ground and then just dropping knees to the right. First optional right hand on top of the knees, maybe gazing towards the left. Just two, three breaths here. Make sure this is okay for the lower back. Shoulder blades remain down. One last breath here. Mm. We are coming back to center. Gaze and knees. Extend the right arm back out. Knees are coming both towards the left. Optional left hand comes on top of the knees. Shoulder blades are equally down. And maybe if the neck is okay, gaze to the right. Surrender. Again, pay attention to your breath. Be here with you. Prepare yourself for the best night sleep ever. Oh. Whatever happened today, it's gone. Just another breath here. Mm. And then you come back to center. Hug the knees into the chest. And then stepping the feet down, keep the knees bent, knees by the side, recline butterfly. We take one minute here to end the class. If your knees are not fully down, maybe support the outside of your knees with two pillows. Make sure this natural arch of the spine will come in. You are okay. You're not compressing, so adjust again before you hold this recline butterfly. Maybe moving shoulder blades to the top of the mat or closer to you until any pinching or any discomfort in the lower back. It's gone. Maybe bringing the arms above the head, holding opposite elbows and surrender here. Close your eyes. Let go. Total relax in the facial muscles. Keep breathing, deep breaths in of peace and calm. Inviting yourself to relax and on the exhale again, maybe. <sighs> if you feel like this, it's uncomfortable for your shoulders. You can always walk the hands, maybe one hand at the heart, one hand at the belly. Surrendering. <sighs> Just for a few more breaths here. Keep inhaling, calm, love, inhaling, calm, peace, surrender, and feelings of gratitude again for moving through your day the best way you could today, knowing that it was great. Whatever you did, it was good. Don't be hard on yourself. Don't judge you for not being enough. Whatever happened, it's gone. Beautiful. 
If you like staying here a little longer, go ahead. But if you're ready, bring the hands under your knees and lift your knees away from the ground, feet on the mat again, slowly and gently hugging knees into the chest once again. And maybe bringing right knee over the left knee, holding the top of the feet if it's available, bringing the heels outside your hips for a reclined cow pose. Again, making sure lower back is down. Shoulder blades are down on the mat. Just a breath or two here. Nice stretch for the outer hip. And then you change when you're ready. Cross the left knee over the right, holding the tops of the feet. Heels are outside of your hips. Make sure lower back stays down. You relax in the shoulder blades. Great job, you guys. I hope this helped to have a good night's sleep. I hope you stretch out. Let go of all the tension in your body. Good, come back to center, hug the knees into the chest and slowly bringing hands under your knees, rock yourself forward into a cross leg seated position, hands at the heart in Namaste. One last breath here, deep breath in, out of the mouth, let go. <sighs> Beautiful, let's end the class here. And before we do that, I wanna thank you so much for once again practicing with me. And always thank to yourself for showing up for yourself. The divine light within me honors the divine light within me. Namaste.